Hi, and welcome to another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist. I am your host, Dennis Richkowski. Some of you know me as the co-owner of Flip Flops Donuts, and some of you recognize me as your broker of real estate specializing in waterfront and water view properties along the Crystal Coast, especially in my town of Emerald Isle, North Carolina. The town of Emerald Isle, where I live, remains under a state of emergency in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And in an effort to limit the spread of the coronavirus, the town is extending its mandatory restrictions on short-term rentals through May 8th. This restriction prohibits the renting of a hotel or motel room, rental housing unit, condominium, RV, campsite, primitive campsite, or similar accommodations. However, based on the current North Carolina stay-at-home order through May 8th, property owners and managers may accept occupants effective May 9th, and beginning May 9th, some public parking areas will reopen. As it now stands, Emerald Isle residents and property owners can access the waters of the Atlantic Ocean and Bogue Sound. Permitted activities include swimming, surfing, kiting, kayaking, fishing, and boating. Residents can walk, jog, and sit on the beach strand. All beachgoers must adhere to the current social distancing guidelines, however. Seemingly, society is in the process of entering a new normal, and so too are my businesses. Flip Flops Donuts, Donuts only has takeout and online ordering at this time. And in previous episodes, I described some of the new ways I am using digital resources to capture leads for my real estate business. Indeed, this video channel is but one of them. With my digital advertising, most of the leads I capture are in what I call phase one of the buying cycle just looking. And in this phase, my only contact is through media, the telephone, texting, email, newsletter, and so on. Social distancing at its finest. Eventually, some of these leads progress from a phase one buyer, just looking, to a phase two buyer. Can you show me this house? And it is this request that poses a new set of challenges in these days of social distancing. And this is what I tell my clients, clients that I am about to show a house to. My first step is to give them the option to view the house virtually. I can create a video tour that they can view on their laptop or telephone. Buyers have made offers on properties sight unseen for a variety of reasons long before this pandemic. I've done so myself. However, when one of my buyers makes an offer on a property without physically visiting, I strongly recommend inserting language into the offer to purchase and contract that gives my buyer proper due diligence time for personal verification, walkthroughs, and personal professional inspections to confirm the condition of the property and that the property is satisfactory. To be sure, at some point the rubber does meet the road and I do need to take buyers to a property. At this point, I alert them that my wife is at a higher risk for severe illness from COVID-19. As a result, I will be wearing a mask when we meet at the property and I suggest they do the same. I inform my buyers we will go in separate vehicles. It's no big deal. I've been doing this for years. Who needs to meet at a real estate office anyway? I let my buyers know we will obey social distancing requirements and I will have them put on booties and apply hand sanitizer upon entering the house. In North Carolina, I am required to give my customers and clients a working with real estate agents brochure at the first significant contact. 
I'll send this by email ahead of time and call to review it with my client. I'll also attach my exclusive buyer's agreement, which they can sign in order to hire me. At the house, in the house, I will remain at least six feet away from my clients. You may wonder why I even go into the house. Well, one of my responsibilities is to my buyers, and that is to be available to answer questions. But also, homeowners might feel concerned about leaving their home during a showing, and rightfully so. So another one of my responsibilities is to put the sellers at ease, and this includes securing their home prior to our exiting. Normally before we leave a house, especially if I hear that my buyer is fond of the house, I will sit down with my buyers in the living room or dining room and learn their thoughts. I might ask, can you imagine serving Thanksgiving dinner in this room? And so on. No can do in this time of social distancing. I leave these questions now for a telephone conversation as we head to the next house and so on. At the end of our tour, we bump elbows, maybe, and return to our separate vehicles. I'll arrange for a follow-up Zoom call to hear their reactions to the houses they visited. Am I doing enough in this time of COVID-19? to protect the buyers, sellers, and myself from a health standpoint? Hard to know. What I do know is that I am doing my best to discern how to balance staying physically healthy in our little corner of the planet while fulfilling my obligations to both buyer and seller. And from a liability standpoint, well, in the case of a pandemic where the risks associated are widely known, the virus is widespread and easily transmittable and may not show symptoms for days after exposure, proving causation would be pretty much impossible from a legal standpoint. And it is for these health and liability matters that I encourage virtual tours until our scientists, county and state officials can give us better guidelines. In the meanwhile, to learn more about real estate in Emerald Isle, sign up for my blog on my website, www.eihomesforsale.com, or subscribe to Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist on YouTube. If you want my free guide to living where you vacation, text your email address to 919-308-2292. Stay well and stay safe and return next week to the same bat channel at the same bat time of 9 a.m. on Thursday for another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist.